Exchanging assets between 3D applications is a problem. I gotta be brutally honest with you. No matter if you're bringing something from Blender into Unity or from Unreal Engine into Death Studio or vice versa, we're always gonna face the challenge that inevitably we don't have all the data that we need to make an exact recreation of that object in another 3D application. So the big issues are usually materials and rigging. So those things often either get lost or don't get transferred just the way we want them, because currently there's no file format on the planet that describes everything about an object that another 3D application could understand. And of course, Dash Studio isn't an exception there. So the general formats that we have are FBX, that contains rigging and a base material channel of the object. OBJ contains all the vertices of an object as well as a base material channel, but it doesn't have rigging and doesn't have any of the other properties that allow us to set up, for example, a PBR shader. Those things cannot be transferred in the same file format. And that's a problem. And it's not just a problem for Dash Studio, it's a problem for literally any 3D application. Thankfully, in Dash Studio, we have a really cool way of bringing in a change that we've made to an object while leaving all these properties intact inside Dash Studio by using deltas, also known as morph targets. So they literally let us export something as an OBJ, just the geometry. We can then go and change the geometry and then we can bring these changes back if the geometry matches just has a different shape and we can import this as a morph target that then becomes a slider like we've seen many on the parameters tab on our own objects before we delve into the specifics of how we make that happen in external applications let me show you the process of how this works in principle so I might go and stick with my George and the sphere scene here. I might go and make George invisible so that we can just go and focus on the sphere. I went ahead and made a change to this sphere object in Blender, and I'm going to show you how to import this back. So what I did there is head over to File with the sphere selected export, and then I went and exported the sphere like this. Down here, I'm going to select OBJ save this i'm going to say um i'm going to say yes just because you know it's, it's asking me do you want to overwrite this then there's some specifics about this export dialog that'll kind of depend on the target application that you're going to then i went to the target application made a small change saved that out as an obj and i was left with something i can now go and load in if i just to show you that so file import this will now let me go and bring it back and don't worry i'm going to show you this in, in much more detail there. I'll go and say, remain all that. This is called pear shape. So this is what I've turned my sphere into in Blender. I've just grabbed the top vertex here and then just pulled it out to turn it into a pair. But when I bring this back, you can now see that I don't have materials anymore. I might still have the material zones, but the descriptions of what these zones need to look like, they have been lost in translation, so to speak. So this is not an ideal way for me to bring a change back because even though my sphere is simple, it had things set up that are no longer on this object that I brought in here. But notice before I shifted it over, it was in the same position as my sphere. So let me go and remove that pear shape and show you another way of importing that change. So once again, with my sphere selected here, I can head over to Edit, Object, Morph Loader Pro. And that is a way for Dash Studio to import an OBJ and make this change available on this object that we have currently selected. A large, a large -ish kind of dialog comes up here in which I can go and select the file I want to import. And in my case, that's going to be the pear shape here. And just before I hit accept, I need to make one more change. And that is that I need to let Dash Studio know, hey, this object here that I'm importing it onto may already have changes applied to it. Like there could be a custom character morph dialed in. There could be a position change there. So I just need to let Dash Studio know that that is the case. And I do that with this property that's called reverse deformations. So you have to select it, then right click on it and hit yes. And that is usually enough to hit now accept. Dash Studio will come up usually with a success message if you've done everything correctly. And in my case, it is. Nothing seems to happen in the scene tab. But if I go over to the parameters tab, 
I have a new section here that's called Morphs, Morph Loader, and you can rename this later. And here's now a slider that is called Pear Shape. So that's the same that my OBJ was named. So again, we can change all these things. And with this slider now, if I go and left click and drag that, I can see that my sphere now turns into what I've just shown you there in the previous import that was white. So that is the way to bring in a change from an external application. And no matter what the external application is, the OBJ format is widely understood by most applications that we're dealing with. I'd probably say every application. And look, you can turn this into a negative as well. So if you don't want this, you can go and change this slider here under parameter settings. You can make changes that you can go and name this something different. If I wanted to have this a different name, if I wanted to have this a different location, I can even change the color of the slider here if I wanted to. But here under minimum, I can say that maybe I don't want this to be minus 100. I want that to be 0 to 100. I can also use this if I don't want to use percent, I can have this set from 0 to 1 instead. Or I can maybe increase the maximum to something like 300. Don't know what that's going to look like. That might, that might not look well. But there now I can't go into the negative, uh, but I can go and exaggerate that morph if I wanted to. Now that is a pear shape and a half. So that's in principle how we do that. There are a couple of options that Das Studio offers so that we don't have to go this way that we export a file manually and then import it manually. There are these bridges available for Hexagon and ZBrush that will let us not only export one item at a time, it'll go and push it directly to the target application and it also lets the target application push this change directly back into Das Studio. So that's very, very clever. This is only available for Hexagon as as well as ZBrush. So I will show you those two things, but I will also show you in another video how to do this in Blender from start to finish and how we make a change like that, maybe with George's clothing or maybe just, you know, make a pear shape of a, of a sphere here. The principle is the same with all these applications, but really the one that is seriously magic are the ones that are so tightly integrated with Das Studio. So let's start with Hexagon in the next video.